Hello listeners, this is your SSK and today we have an interesting story from Chandamama and the name of the story is A Project of Prolonged Thought Chika Rao The money lender had nothing much to do except sit on the circular brick platform his late father had built around the mango tree in the foreyard of his house. People meet him there borrowing or paying back with interest whatever they had borrowed Sitting there he enjoyed the breeze, kept an eye on mango tree which abounded in fruit in the summer, and looked at the road beyond his gate. Once a while his eyes fell on a borrower who would have failed to pay back on time, and he took the man to task for the default. But he had also other satisfaction. For instance, there, very close to him, stood a bullock tied to a small pole. It had been with him for more than three months. Its owner had pawned it to him. Chikarao appreciated the bullock very much. It was handsome, particularly its horns had grown harmoniously and their tips bent towards each other very gracefully. From the very first day, Chikarao thought that the horns had space enough between them to accommodate its own head. In fact, the smug feeling which he thought he would have when his head would roundly fit in between the horns was very tempting. Particularly, every day he reflected on the proposition. Should he sit on the bullock back and brace his head with those comely horns? It might be more convenient to do so standing in front of the bullock. There was no more time to lose for the bullock's owner had sent word that he was coming to pay his juice and get his animal raised that every evening. It would be unwise on his part to lose the bullock before making his highly original fancy satisfied. Chikara cautiously mounted the bullock and pushed his head into the horns. The otherwise docile bullock gave a start. It had obviously never had anything near it to that experience. Panic right large on his face, it leaped unprotected the tiny pole to which it had been tied, and then ran. It smashed Chikarao's bamboo gate and was on the road in no time. Chikarao meanwhile tried his best to distangle his head from the horns, but in vain his legs astrayed on the bullock and his head locked. He presented a bizarre spectacle to the people on the village road, most of whom failed to make out anything of it. Some village youths, however, took courage and surrounded the bullock and stopped it and helped Chikara to come out of his predicament. The dazed moneylender was cried home. He had received several bruises on his head and ears and a lot of bumps to tire all his limbs. Why did he do that? The village elders asked him when he had sufficiently recovered from its trauma. Well, the space between the horns was so inviting and I was sure my head would be the best thing to be there. Would you have thought twice before doing such a thing? commented an elder man. You are speaking of thinking twice, aren't you? I thought a hundred times once every day since the bullock was left in my custody. I thought for more than three months, Chikara replied with some anguish.